Classic Hits 106.9 KFRC. It's 704. Good morning. We are excited today. Celeste Perry and Dave Sholin, two of the biggest fans of this show. You hear that theme? I mean, it's like a ritual at our house on Sunday night. Just makes me giddy. Yes, and the uh, what the sixth Curb. season for Curb Your Enthusiasm. And with us, Jeff, manager, agent. It's Jeff Garland. Thank and, you. A.K.A. Jeff I prefer Green. Walk This Way. <laughs> can we, this can we pull that up again? Yeah, I bet you do at this point. I, I would like no. to hear Aerosmith do that theme, though. <laughs> Would that uh, be if, something? If they, if they could <laughs> riff, so riff it up like Walk This Way, that'd be fun, yeah. A guitar yeah. solo there. Yeah, yeah. Steve Tyler. Oh, man, that would be, that would be nice. But, uh, Jeff, welcome to, uh, welcome to town. Welcome to KFRC. Thank you. You guys play the classic hits. Yes, yes we, we do. do. <laughs> you can see that, huh? It's yes, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a room where it's surrounding. Well, the... we're old, so we have to remember what call letters we're working for and, and what our format letters, is. But yeah. you know classic Classic hits. hits. We know They're classic right hits. there. Remind me. Yeah. everywhere. It's Bay I Area am. Radio, by the way. It is. Okay. Yes, it is. Hey, you don't want to confuse. Yeah. yeah. San Francisco Bay Area Radio, yeah. actually. Okay. Yeah. But you're here in town for the big 25th anniversary for Cobbs. Yes, Comedy yes. Club. And I'm, I'm making my contribution tonight. Uh, by having this an improv show, we're doing a lot of improv with uh, some people from the UCB Theater. I mean, UCB, the TV show, used to be on uh, Comedy Central has a lot of fans. Uh -huh. So Matt Walsh will be there with me tonight, and yeah, we should have a good time. You like to do the improv thing, even though you know Curb is not really improv, but it almost is. No, 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 no. It's Curb is improv. Well, you have, but you have an idea. You have well, a, you have scenarios. A, a scenario. Larry, Larry writes out these scenarios, but we're improvising. We're, ma I mean, all my dialogue on the show. I'm making up as I go along. Really? So, yeah. Every, every single thread that I would say 99%. Okay. Every once in a while he'll say to me, say uh, it's like eating a delicious sponge. I don't know if you know the sponge cake episode. Oh, right, right. Yeah, but, yeah. So I, said, I kept on saying it, it's like eating a delicious sponge. That was one of the rare times where it was in the outline that Jeff says mm -hmm. is like eating a delicious sponge. So how do people audition for uh, spots on the show? Or do you like handpick the people just uh, knowing you know, they can have Can I tell you something that's really interesting? Yeah, and I'm not ahead. making this up. Yeah. So we're in our sixth season. It's been eight years being yeah. those our sixth season. No one has ever asked me that. I swear to God, no one there has you go. ever so asked me. That blows my mind. Because, really? What? It just seems like such an obvious question. No, frankly. no one has ever asked me what the audition process is. Okay. Well, tell. Literally on little pieces of paper, yeah. like two index fingers put together, there's a little scenario written on there. You're mm -hmm. a um, da 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 da, and you uh, meet Larry and Jeff in a restaurant, and you th feel this. Okay, that's it. Uh -huh. And the weird thing for the actors is when they come in, they're auditioning with myself and Larry because we're producers. Mm -hmm. But Cheryl's also at the audition, so okay. it's one of the only shows that I know of or I've ever heard of where you come in to audition for the show, and the stars of the show are doing the scene with you. It has to be intimidating on some level, but okay. on the other level, you're improvising, so yeah. it's very creative yeah. and fun. People who do it are, are you know who really usually end up getting the jobs, but they have so much fun doing the audition. Well, I'm thinking of actors who just seemed like stock actors to me. Like, for instance, there was that whole period where you had David Schwimmer on the show, right? Well, yeah, because like, he, he I actually bumped into him at the movies. Yeah. And he said that, uh, he was an acquaintance, he said he'd love to do the show, and I said to Larry the next morning, I go, I bumped into David Schwimmer, you know the thing we're doing with the uh, producers? Wouldn't yeah. it be good for this thing? He's like, yeah, you think you'd do it? And then we that called him, it. and he was in. Yeah, same with Ben. I mean, I know Ben, and he said, yeah. I want to do the show. I go, we've got something. And I said, let me let check and boom, it worked out perfect. Wow. I'm, I'm more Schumer impressed than ever by the, by the people who guest on the show then. You know? um, I yeah, mean, you guys are uh, great. But... Yeah, but we, we don't do stunt casting. I mean, it's literally, yeah. literally got to be where it's perfect like it was for Schwimmer yeah, and Ben Stiller. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And the most recent show, you have Senator Boxer. Yes, Our right. own Senator Barbara Senator Boxer. Boxer. And she was great. She oh. was great. I mean, that whole thing oh, where, she's, where, where Ted Danson is such a cad on the show. Yeah. When he walks up and she starts telling Larry how what a great guy Ted Danson is, oh, it was she was oh. great and the nicest lady. Oh my God, she was fantastic. Yeah. That was that was really cool. There. So is that kind of an improv thing? I mean, that was all improvised. Really? We didn't tell her what to say. You just really? you put the glass. I of wine imagine in your hand. if you would have handed her a script, it wouldn't have been nearly as good. Right. True. She just knew she had to do it, but who knew she was that good? Yeah, because her looks are subtle and she, yeah. the way she walked off camera. Oh, I just she, was, she was brilliant. Wait, wait, I I don't know if she believed me, but when we were shooting it, I was making a point to tell her how great she was. She got good reviews, actually. I read a review. And oh, they really? certainly noted good. Barbara Boxer's performance. Yeah, you know, she, was, uh, she was really, really 
really great. So you're, yeah. not, you're not only on the show. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just was going to say, we also, we love your wife on the show. Right. Her dirty little mouth just, yeah, I, it it just cracks me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My wife was telling me on the way out the door this morning, she goes, I don't know. Tell Jeff. I'm not sure. I love him. I'm not sure who I love more. Susie or Jeff? I, it's oh, a you got to love Susie more. I don't get to do enough to they're love me. She's just standing there in the driveway screaming yeah, at you. Yeah, she's hysterical. Yeah, she's good. Yeah. Really good. Well, you're all great. So you're not only on the show, but you're also executive producer yeah, of the show, which yeah. is what does the executive producer do on Curb Your Enthusiasm? And, you know, the thing is, uh, in television, the executive producer is a creative position. Mm -hmm. Like in a, in a movie, when you see executive producer, that could be someone who lent their name, somebody who, could, you know, like like in my, my movie, Harold Ramis is an executive producer. He did that because he wanted to help me. Um, whereas uh, um, in TV, it's purely creative. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, my job is to help cast the show when we're filming. I I'm very selfless because my job is to get Larry David's vision up on the screen. Not my vision, his vision. Mm -hmm. So creatively, I, I watch every take. I give notes as to what I think's going on one way or another. Even if, if I'm in the scene, we'll talk about it. And uh, then when we're done, you know, I get, you know, cuts of the show and I give notes. And mm. yeah, it's a fun, creative thing. And to work with Larry David, I'm very lucky. Is Boy. there ever, a, is there ever a, a moment when you feel a final cut where you think maybe I could have done something a little differently? Are you always 100% happy with what the final product? For the most part, the yeah. Most, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. pretty Good. happy. As are we. Well, we oh, are thank too. Thank you. Thank you. And we're happy to have you here, and thank we're going to talk about your movie. You can you hang for I'm, just a I'm, bit? I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm wonderfully wonderful. Perfect. And Jeff Garland, Excellent. Dave Scholin, Celeste Perry, here we are with some classic hits, and Jeff will be right back.